Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is a part one of a two-part series. It was just way too long to put into one, so I split it into two. This piece today is on Upo paper. I am using piñata chili pepper and Tim Holtz poppy fields with, I think it's piñata brass. So my composition today, well it started off as a sort of an S shape, but it didn't quite turn out that way and you'll see why. In fact, in the middle of this piece I got quite frustrated with it. So this piece actually is a lesson in perseverance and not giving up and being extremely patient and all will be alright in the end. So I'm principally using reds today, all reds except for the little touch of brass. Different shades of reds, but just reds. I don't know, I just had that feeling, maybe coming up towards Christmas, who knows. So there is a little surprise at the end of this video, well, at the end of part two, so do stick around and watch that is turned into something else. You we'll have to wait till the end to see what. Of course with all these alcohol pieces you can always use them either as an, an abstract piece of art behind glass with matting. You can stick them onto um, artboard and resin them on the top, which I love doing. I just think it, it looks absolutely stunning and I always stick a little glitter in there and it just shines and whichever angle you look at it, it's just heaven. So n I'm using a straw there but I end up taking out my air gun once again and using my little air, uh, my hairbrush blow dryer. It's the equivalent in America, I know it's the equivalent to a sort of an aircon type model. It's not your ordinary blow dryer. It's used, actually, it has an attachment. It's used for curling your hair. I know you can find them on Amazon if, if you're interested, but honestly, just a regular hair dryer will do on low setting. So I am doing my little crispy effects going in and out by adding just pure isopropyl alcohol to the edges, pushing in and then pushing back out. So once again I'm taking a brush just to loosen any stuck down alcohol onto the paper and that can happen if you blob it as I have done and leave it on too long without working on it. But a brush is quite a saviour, it will loosen it from the paper and you can use it as normal.
as I said, this was quite a long piece to do. It was almost, I think it was almost 15 minutes. And I've hardly cut this um, video, so you see it almost as it is. And I think the whole video in total is 40, 45 minutes. There, um, this paper is, is quite large. And that's what happens when there is uh, a lot of ex a lot of expanse of paper. It takes much longer than if you were using, say, an A4 sheet of paper. I think this is a um, well, it's a, in centimeters. It's a 40 by 30, which is A3. Sorry, I have no idea what that is in <laughs> non-metric. So you can see the difference in tones of those reds. The chili pepper by piñata, most piñatas are very, very dense and very opaque. Uh, you'll see at some point in this video, I find it almost too opaque. I end up putting a little bit in another clean bottle with some uh, alcohol, pure alcohol, and kind of mixing it, diluting it down. And I think from now on, I may actually do that with most of the piñata range. As I say, they're really concentrated. So they have a lovely, rich, deep color. But for certain purposes, they're almost too opaque. And it can just look like a splodge.
There's a lot of drying in these pieces, and the reason is if you let them keep flowing wet, it's not actually a very good look. It can end up giving hard lines and maybe even stain the paper. So I've turned it round as I will do often in this piece, just to get a different perspective. And so then I can work easier from the right. Most of this piece is just playing around with form, pushing that ink in and out, getting a shape that suits you, that you like, achieving those wispy edges if possible. Reflection. Hmm. A lot of reflection when it comes to this. Maybe even changing my mind a couple of times. And there I've decided to drop in a little of the darker pinata color, the chili pepper. I think there was the Tim Holtz just before. And I didn't want too much of the same tone of color in one area. Here I'm just playing around by moving the, the piece of paper around just to see what effect that will give me. I'm brushing any um, stack-on bits with the brush. I actually just use an acrylic brush, a brush for acrylic paint. It isn't for watercolors or there isn't a special brush for alcohol inks. It's just an acrylic brush. Trying to go up into that corner. Yep. And don't be afraid of adding inks next to already dried ink. Just keep going and as long as you blow the two, you can blend. If you blow the dryer against the two, you can blend the two. The old piece and the new piece.
I mean, it looks pretty cute just like that. I could have left it. I think it looks nice. I could have maybe whisked it out some of the edges there in the center. <coughs> but as I said, for the purpose that I had in mind for this, I really wanted most of that paper to be covered with ink, which is why I keep going and going and going. And I guess that's why it took so long. Cleaning up time. No, changing my mind time. I obviously didn't like that. Off it goes. Kitchen paper and a little bit of pure alcohol. That's a good thing about you, Po. It's shiny enough and plasticky enough to be able to enable you to a certain extent to be able to delete, let's say delete, anything that you don't like. And there, that bit's got stuck on, so I'm brushing it in. And that's what happens with those pinata colors. They're so dense and so thick and opaque that they tend to puddle up. I was just pushing some of that alcohol back into the red so I can wisp it back out. When it comes to wisping, when you blow back in and then back out again, your last move with the blow dry should be right back in to enable you to keep that wispy effect. I think I'm trying to create some buds there, although this is not a flowery piece, it's still abstract. I've placed that brass down and I've left it to spread out. And then I've, now I'm drying it back out again. Okay, so this is the end of part one. The next video is already up. Please check it out. See you in a minute.